Hey guys, John Trollski here and welcome to the fourth episode of Zero to Hero. Starting today off, I go and complete the Choo Choo questline. I started this at level 215, which is 5 levels late, and the way I got here was doing my dailies. I've been busy in real life the past few days, but the buff the Vanishing Journey EXP has been carrying my progression. With all the events also happening, my character's damage has really not been an issue so far. The nodes, symbols, free gear, and potions have been really awesome in speeding up my new account. Next up, I level both my Bowmaster and Night Lord using the food storage event. Starting off with Bowmaster at level 105, I get all the way to 134 and take down Zakum to achieve level 135. With my Night Lord, I forgot to record the first 500 monsters, but we are starting at level 124 and we finished at level 136. Next up, I level up my main to level 220, meaning I can claim the 17 star Absolab weapon from the Hyperburn Milestone event. I go with Staff since crit is no longer a large issue and extra magic attack will be better in the long run. With some time, I finally decided to use my Identus Gift skill points, put everything into EXP acquired so that leveling my main and links will be faster. We're also not putting anything into bossing at the moment, however in the future I will be putting points into boss damage and IED. To finish off this upgrade section, I drop an expiring flame on my earrings and get 5% all stat and 35 in, which is pretty good for now. Now I want to see if I can clear any hard bosses. Starting off with Chaos Zakum, his mechanics are pretty simple, however I still die out. I don't have enough damage to clear it comfortably. Next up is Hard Hilla. It's an easy fight since you no longer get caged anymore, you just need to out heal the damage. Wait, out damage her heal. Next up is Normal Sickness. It is definitely doable, however I need to remember that my teleport skills do damage and during her reflect debuff to avoid teleporting. Lastly is Chaos Pink Bean. This boss is definitely annoying and I don't have enough damage to clear it without causing me severe pain. I also cleared Arcarium and got another Dominator Pendant. I'm so glad to have a backup when I'm Star Forcing. In the next section of this video, I really hone in on working on my Lynx and Legion. These are so important for the account progression and I want to make sure to show you guys the work I am putting on these characters. Today is Sunday, so I go ahead and did my 7 runs on a few characters. I am actively trying to level all my burning and 0 to 100 characters to level 150 for Legion. Next up, I start working on my shade. The burning coupon is almost running out and I need to finish this character. I start off by going to Grand Anthem and completing my 4th job advancement. I go and start farming at Robos and Ludi until level 121 and finish training at level 127 in Korean Folktown. To finish off my shade, I also go and do monster part. I end up at level 145 and to finish the last bit of leveling, I go to Kerning Tower to achieve level 150. Now with the topic of leveling legion characters, I go and do the food storage event on my marksman. I start at level 120 and finish at level 146. Then I go to Kerning Tower and finish my marksman at the final level of 148. I'm really focusing on using the events available to level up all my links in the legion efficiently. The final character for now that I am focusing on is Phantom. Like every single video I've released, Phantom has been in every single one so far. But I go and do the food storage event and finish leveling him up to level 151. Now would be a good time to see if I can clear any hard bosses again with all these upgrades. But I still want to upgrade a little bit more. I claim the last rank coupon selector from the Identisk event. I also claim the legendary potential scroll. I get 9% in on reveal, which I'm gonna keep since cubing is still expensive right now. I finally got a potential magnet shoulder. I dropped a single cube and was able to get it to epic, and then I used some mythicals to get it to 6% in and star force it to 10 stars. Lastly, I claim 100 nodes from the Identisk event and level up any boost and skill nodes. For those who are curious, I use the Maple Legion Discord to find guides and information on all the classes I am working on, and I use this information to set up skills for the upcoming bosses. Starting with Normal Cygnus, I crush it in 5 minutes and only end up dying twice. Unfortunately, I still haven't gotten the shield recipe. Next up was Chaos Pink Bean, and this one honestly took forever. I cleared it in around 12 and a half minutes. However, it was worth since I got the Black Bean Mark, which is an upgrade to our current accessory. I cubed it to 6% in and star forced it to 10 stars. Now it is time to do Yum Yum Island. This will make me receive double the symbols from Choo Choo Dailies, and you can clear the questline honestly faster than Reverse City in my opinion, and it's just more enjoyable. 
Now at level 220, it's time to do another Vanishing Journey questline. It is Lack Line. This probably took the most amount of time compared to any prequest so far. I made the mistake of not doing any of the Dream Fragment quests alongside the main story, so I had to end up grinding this up. With that complete, we unlocked the dailies, and since I am level 227, I can already start Arcana. The big thing I've been taking advantage of is the food storage event. I know I mention this all the time, but it's how I keep making progression on my Lynx and Legion, so here's another short recap. I got my Mercedes from level 129 to 152 and finished my EXP coupon to achieve the final level of 154. Then I got my Evan from level 131 to 155. Lastly, I got my Bowmaster from level 135 to 157. This is pretty good progress on all my Lynx and Legion and I will continually keep working on them. Well that is it for the 4th episode. The next episode we finally do something big, so stay tuned to find out. And if you have any feedback, drop it below, but besides that, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.